We've had a lot of conversations now, me and you, right? We've talked about happiness habits, we've talked about happiness exercises, we've talked about models and frameworks and exercises. We've talked about a lot of things we can all do to increase our mental well-being every day, and that's a worthwhile journey, and I thank you for being part of it. But one question you probably have is, what do I do when I fall off? Right? What do I do when the habit doesn't stick or when I do a routine for a week or two and then it just goes bust? What do I do then? Here's the phrase I want you to remember. The goal is not to be perfect. The goal is to be better than before. Every single thing I'm sharing with you through these articles and through these videos is icing on a cake. You're already alive, you already live in a great country. How do you take some of these routines and sprinkle them into your life? Test them out and think of them like a practice. One of my favorite things about yoga is at the end of every class, they say, how is your practice? With the implicit assumption that we are all on a journey towards betterment that we may never fully reach. There is no nirvana or a place you get to that's just the perfect endpoint. you did it, you're, you're awesome, you get a gold star. It's a practice. Think of happiness and your positive mindset in your life as a practice as well. The goal is not to be perfect, the goal is to be better than before. I'd like you to think about how you can use that framework of it's a practice in other areas of your life too. Being a dad is a practice. Being a mom is a practice. Being a husband or a wife is a practice. I don't care how many years you've been married, you're still working on it. I'm guessing you're still working on it, okay? Being a child is a practice and who you are most of the time matters more than who you are some of the time. We are all getting better, we are all trying, and we're all moving forward inch by inch, day by day.